Okay, people, today is Monday. I'm going to get ready to go to uh, uh, Prima Vera, that uh, daycare center for the homeless, and see do I have any help from Social Security. Because they say, at first, uh, I was here, some takes 30 days. Then the last time I talked, they said 90 days. Now, it's been 100 days. Now, they told me that uh, since I had to change my address to Prima Libera, uh to the daycare center for the homeless, that it would take two days for them to notify Social Security in Chicago and then two days for me to get a letter. Now, these things are amazingly crazy because they tell me they don't have my records and paperwork here at the Social Security Administrative Office that I have to go uh, to Chicago. Now, uh, to get my records, and uh, but she uh, said that slipped out of my mouth. When I asked her for the main office in Baltimore of Maryland, she said, well, we're all main offices. But you just told me that you don't have my files, you don't have my information, that it's somewhere else. She said, we're all main offices except for our satellites. <clears throat> now, they've been telling me they weren't the main office. So, uh, I'm going to walk up there because the day is the 30th, and uh, I'm going to call our, my debit card and see is there money on there if I can find a public phone. Prima Bear should have a phone. Let me see whether they let me use their phone to find out what my uh, benefits are. But um, I'm going to go to that first, and then I'm going to walk up. Uh, I'll go back on the bus and go to Social Security because I doubt if they put my money on my card for this month. But in the meantime, I'm in my crazy motel. You have to excuse it because I've been doing a lot of uh, preparing because you know we're supposed to have that uh, blackout for November the 4th to the 6th where all the electricity in the United States, the whole grid, will be shut down. They say for two days. But we know our government they don't intend if it goes down to let it come back up, period. So, um, I'm preparing. God always has me preparing to, uh, in case something happens. So, in my little bit of room, I'll make a video about this room later. I'm showing you how I'm preparing some uh, dehydrating with the heater. Since the heater in the window doesn't work, they gave me this heater, and I'm dehydrating. Some uh, sweet potatoes. I got sweet potatoes here, and you see my setup. I got my cans of the inside holding up, and I got a level down here, a sweet potato down there. I uh, cured some bacon, or I did this in uh, since last night. I bought this stuff yesterday. I cured some bacon with uh, red peppers, black peppers, and some sea salt. Eh, I got to see how it tastes later. Because I'm going to get out of here. I got some uh, fermented cabbage, cabbage going. And if I have time before I have to leave the room, I'll probably uh, take the uh, juice off and dehydrate the fermented cabbage. I have some uh, fermenting uh, cranberries. Cranberries that I have fermenting. I dehydrate. These are some sweet potatoes that I've dehydrated already. These bags. You know these bags hold moisture, so I'm gonna have to probably um, dehydrate them one more time before I store them. This is some celery that I dehydrated last night. Celery and green onions. I'm gonna make me some celery salt. So, with my little setup, I have dehydrated because who needs to be carrying loads and loads of food to need to get little? So I'm trying to get little, so I'm dehydrating a little bit of food, so I'll have something to eat on in case something happens. All I have to do is add water, add water. I got some uh, Roman soups, so if I want to uh, have some meat and some soup, or put this in something else, I can throw me some, uh, uh, this is not bacon. You see how? It's torn up. This is what I meant to tell you. I bought this from uh, Boo City. It's supposed to be a uh, slab baking cut. 
And as soon as I put the salt on it, it fell apart. And I told you, who said you were selling alien meat and, and probably human meat too? So, I've seen the videos where they can take this glue they got and glue different parts of meat together, make it look like steak, ham, uh, probably chicken. So this was not pork. When I looked at it, when I took it out of the package, I can tell, I got it from behind the meat counter. I can tell it was not pork when I got rid of it, salted up and stuff. And then it fell apart before I could even dehydrate it. Just as I was going to, uh, just as I put the salt, pepper and stuff, running around, it fell apart. So obviously this was meat parts that were glued together. And it's not, uh, it's not a uh, pork. So, my grandmother used to say, "Ain't no telling what you'll eat before you leave this planet. You deserve." Ooh, it looked like a demon right there. Is that a demon? Like a demon right there, demon or alien? Well, there's one right there. That's an eye. Looks like there's something in the back. Ah, demons are all over. Look at that. In my food. Well, I've seen demons in my vinegar. I still drink it. Like I said, guys, my grandma said, no matter, no telling uh, what you eat for you leave this plant. But, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was reading scripture, and when I found out they were putting human DNA, and our foods that Obama had granted these companies money to uh, experiment with putting DNA in our food, I decided I didn't want to eat much anymore but fruits and vegetables. And I was reading scripture, and God said, it's a fool who won't eat fruits and vegetables, especially since our fruits and vegetables are alive too, <laughs> since they are contaminated too with that more gallons and with that, uh, Monsanto doing everything to uh, the GMOs. So, I just eat what I want. I do my, uh, let's see what else is else in this bag. I do my, um, look like a face there. I do my, um, what you call it? Using my own, making my own vinegar. Have you seen on my videos where I make my own vinegar and stuff? And I uh, process it before I eat it. I try to process everything before I eat. Sometimes I eat it without process, but most of the time I process my food before I eat it. Fruits and vegetables. All right, guys, let me get out of here. I just wanted to show me my setup. That if you think outside the box. You can do almost anything with little or nothing. My little heater setup. And I'm going to tell you, I did this overnight. So, two, David's dehydrated fast. Green onions, celery, uh, sweet potatoes, and my cured bacon. Whatever it is. Cured whatever it is. Alright guys, I love you. Be prepared. Be aware, be informed, and uh, keep praying. Love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.